A couple of weeks ago, I received the My Cup from New Zealand. You might have seen me post some pictures on either Facebook or on Instagram. For a while, they weren't available in the United States, but they are available now through femininewear.co.uk. And don't forget that you can use a 10% off discount with code REDHERRINGTV. I'll go ahead and leave all of that information in the description below. Today I'm going to do an unboxing, show you what you get, and then take you down to the table to take a look at the cup itself. If you're interested in hearing about this cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Some of you have mentioned that the My Cup from New Zealand reminds you of the Super Jenny from the USA. So I will bring in the Super Jenny a little bit later and uh, do a comparison between the two. There's a couple of other cups that I feel uh, that the My Cup kind of resembles, so I'm going to go ahead and show those as well at that time. Let's go ahead and look at the packaging and the contents. You might have noticed that the box does look quite thin and the large size cup is wider uh, than the box itself. Uh, I did want to mention that when I removed the My Cup from the box, it did not stay smashed. It did spring back to a round shape. The small My Cup measures 62 millimeters in total length, 45 millimeters without the stem, 42 millimeters in diameter and holds 29 milliliters to the top of the rim. The large My Cup measures 67 millimeters in total length, 51 millimeters without the stem. It has a 46 millimeter diameter and it holds 40 milliliters to the top of the rim. Starting with the stem, there are three balls on here. The end ball is slightly larger, which helps to keep your fingers from sliding off the end of the stem. The silicone on the stem is a solid piece, but it does have some squishiness to it and it flexes in all directions. It has a little bit of a stretch to it, but not much. It stops right about there. The seal between the stem and the body of the cup, they included a small bead on the inside so you can trim the stem completely off without worrying about cutting right into your cup. Right underneath the stem, there are three broken circles for grip rings and three sets of two leaves. There is a seam that runs the length of the body up and around the stem and back down the other side. Although the seam is visible, I can't really feel it with my fingertips. And on my small cup, I can barely see the seam at all. There's also signs that there may have been a seam around the top of the rim, but mine have been finished off pretty well. The inside of the cup is branded with their name, My Cup. And also on the other side, it says Made in New Zealand. Under each of these are measuring lines and numbers of 5, 10, 15, and 20 milliliters. At the time of this video, this cup comes in two different sizes, size 1 and 2, or small and large. But I did hear that they're going to have a teen version coming out this summer, summer of 2018. Also at the time of this video, the cup only comes in the white or the frosted clear color. Since this is a bell-shaped cup and it has that rounded body right here, uh, those normally tend to feel a little bit on the firmer side just because of that shape. Uh, that area, that rounded area, always feels like it wants to press outward against your fingertips. 
If I had to give this a number rating uh, from zero to five, five being the most firmest cup on the market, I would probably give this a 3.5 um, rating. So kind of on the firmer side of medium or middle of the road. However, the rim of this cup is on the softer side, which I find uh, with most of the bell-shaped cups uh, with a flared rim or even a slightly flared rim. I would consider the rim on this cup to be more of a three. I did promise that I was going to compare the Super Jenny against the My Cup um, and a couple of other cups that I thought were very similar. So let's take a look at those. So here is the My Cup and the Super Jenny, and you can see that the My Cup has a little bit uh, rounder base, whereas the Super Jenny tapers to more of a point. Here is the brand new Salt Cup. It is slightly shorter, and again, the My Cup has a rounder base. Here is the Corui Cup from Brazil and it's a lot closer to the salt cup than the my cup. If you're interested in any squish comparisons between the my cup and these cups, go ahead and leave me a request down below. So that's all I have for now about the my cup from New Zealand. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if there's another cup that you think the My Cup um, is similar to uh, that I didn't mention. Until I see you next time, take care.